Welcome back to the channel, everyone. You're here with Dave from Mad for Heli, episode 10. Meant to be the tail boom, but why put the boom on when you don't need to? It just makes things harder. So, bam, tail. Let's crack into it. Okay. Start. All right. Nothing's changed here by the looks of this. It's all still very much the same. Oh, they still use Phillips head screwdrivers. Really? Why can't we just use a bolt? I suppose it's, yeah. Anyway, I don't know why. This is different. Nice weight saving. All the little weight saving, that used to be solid. Still the same setup. The grips have changed a little bit. Okay, well, save you all the, uh, the headache and I'll pull this apart, but we'll speed it up. So, yeah, get this apart in a couple of seconds for you. lock tight some stuff on. I'm like, don't. Just leave it alone. pissing me off a line. This is tight. So why do one side tight? You're meant to pull the whole thing apart and there's certain things that you do up and you lock tight. Like seriously, one or the other. Bloody hell. doesn't come off but that was locked tight on it's like <sighs> tell you what come on all right let's spray this down good old blue you my boy blue on oh, pick everyone up who else does that pick everyone up before you get wait before you get the right one grace throw it away all right alloy to alloy That cleaner. It's been, it's been in a bag full of oil. So, in and out. Let's go and this out. can stay in there. Washers. Alright. 
the pot. back together all right start with what i uh can read the book i'm just going to start putting stuff together with some loctite get our loctite get our trusty spare trusty driver let's put this together this is easy this just screws together with these screws here Dab. Now you are putting these near a bearing, so just be careful. Make sure it still spins freely. Should still spin freely. You just don't want big dabs hanging off and get it in your bearing. Now remember this is a small screw, doesn't need to be tight. All right, so those two done. What's next? What's next? Let's have a look at the spindle. Cut this apart. Now that does need to go on that first. So don't forget that, don't put it together and then realize it's got to go on there. Yep, something I probably would do. So we did tighten that screw down. Um, yeah, let's get it together. Then we're getting the rest, the rest together. So this is really straightforward. Like I said, pair of tweezers. It's got in and out written on it. You can't go wrong. So in like so. The difference in grease is. One has a lot of grease, and one has hardly any. So, wouldn't matter, you gotta pull it apart anyway, but just save your time a line, and just don't put any grease in there. Have an oily bag, just leave it to the end user. Oh, just getting it everywhere, that was a waste of time. Oh gosh. All right. Remember, hollow face down. Yeah. Now, this, I can't get that screw out. I need to get another. I need to get a smaller version. Should have one, I need to get a smaller version of that. After using this, yes, I'm gonna get one for every size. Push that through, like so. And we will put it on the shaft. Now, I'll put a little bit of grease around here. Put a little bit in there, then use a screwdriver. And we just wash it around. Remember when we did the head, the last thing you want is when you push that through, you get all of the goo down there. While I'm here, I will give it a little bit of a... Give it a spray out with some contact cleaner. Beauty. Let's see if I can't mess this up. Get the driver onto it so it doesn't pop out. And we use the driver to Push it through like that. No grease in the hole. Perfect. Perfectly forgot the washer. Washer on. Back in. Just wipe around the edge. 
washer on. Head on. Oh no, head grip. Alright. You can lift it up a little bit. We want just double check in. Pretty self-explanatory there. In goes in. Hollow face down. Push it over the shaft. And we don't need more lube on this. It's got plenty on the other side. Out on. I will, however, you can just see that this looks oily. I will give this a spray. Some blue Loctite. Gonna have to go wash my hands shortly. They're starting to get oily. This Loctite's a bit, uh, it's a little bit off. You know, you get some hard bits in there. Yeah, well, I've got a hard bit in there, don't I? Very, very carefully make sure that goes in there without touching the sides. And we tighten. Okay. Once we tighten, we check. Always check our rotating parts. Not loose, not firm, that will wear in very nicely. It's nice that it doesn't drop by itself. Okay. Well, it looks like all the, uh, I don't know how that etching's gonna go. Really align. I can feel the difference in roughness on my finger. Was that, was that a good idea? Like, why wouldn't your TB set? Why wouldn't you write that down here where nothing's sliding on it? I know that may wear in, but you do have friction there. Don't do that. Comment if you think I'm silly, but I can feel the friction on my finger. On my finger, and you know you're meant to have you're meant to have that sliding up and down. You can hear it. Can hear it, and you could probably emery tape that off with a bit of uh, 1200. Anyway, I am going to have to go wash my hands, I think, because they're getting very oily. To put these on, but before our shaft goes in, we need to make sure we put the belt through. So, that's that side. Might just get all these holes cleaned up. Alloy to alloy, you really want um, you really want um, you know, dry holes, oil free. Looks like this doesn't really have an upside, uh, an up or a down. It's universal; can go anywhere you want. These don't though. These have a certain side. What bolts are they? That would be all of these bolts. So. is your slider side so what do we want to do now we want to looks like we're ready for <sighs> be nice to get this on actually that goes down that's for our ball joint 
can just see that they're oily. I just want to clean it all up. I like to use the straw. Straw gets you right, right where you want without spraying it, spraying it all over your bearings. All right. So align faces up. Slide this on. Now this should be. of you do this how many times do you pull something apart I do it all the time but you know it happens we all do it two, two seconds two seconds and what do we got a couple more screws two more Comment below, what's your favorite part? What's your favorite part of a heli to build? What do you look forward to? Do you leave it till last? Do you follow the manual? Or do you have your own routine? Comment below. Interesting. It's an interesting question. Kind of follow it. I've just learned after a few builds, you don't put the boom on till last. There's no need for it. Finish your wiring, finish everything. Get it done. Boom just clicks in, bang. I've got a limited workspace here. Hits the wall and carries on. Put it on last. Put it on last. All right. Nice that it can only go in one way. It does make it a little bit easier. Not a fan of the screws though, you really, they are tight, but you really, you've really got to get your driver down in there. If you've built one before, you know, did your drivers, your drivers look as tight as what's going on here, or was it a little bit looser? What, what, what brand? Like I said, I've got uh, RJX Hobby. What brand are you using? Okay. this step I've done it put your belt in uh, that goes on like that it should be a divot in the shaft where that goes Out of all 
screws. This one deserves red. What sucks is what sucks is it's plastic though. The, the flanges on it are plastic. Tighten him up. So a heat gun would be needed. You wouldn't put a naked flame there. So a heat gun. Is that plastic? Yep. Maybe have a look at. No, it's probably better for the bell, but maybe look at, have a look at aluminium align. Now, if I was pedantic about that, I would want to shim. We're talking like a 0 0.01 or an 0 0.2 shim. Probably 0 0.2 would fit in there. What happened to the shim kits? Why don't you supply shim kits? Well, apart from the these little washers that hold the boom on, that's that's the tail. I've got to put that on, but don't need to see that. So, can you hear that? So that angle, when you go all the way in, it actually rubs. It actually rubs. Well, that's annoying. Where is that touching? It's touching just up in here. All right. I don't know if you can see that. See how closely that's actually touching. That will wear in, but that's a bit silly. It will. Obviously, you're never going to go all that way. You know, you're not going to go like that, but should that bind? Don't think it should. Anyway, this is just, this is a build series, just pointing out the stuff. All right. Well, that is episode 10. Tail. Thanks for stopping by. This is Dave from Mad for Heli. Uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification for the uh, for the next build and uh, check us out check our website out madforheli.com um, yeah give us a like and we'll see you on the next one episode 11 